Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. The overtone series is the basis of tonal music. When I strike a note or the fundamental, it produces a series of harmonics in decreasing amplitude above it, like this. This particular order of pitches is the same for any note that you play. It goes through the same series of intervals. This has been what's guided the progression of tonal music for the past 300 years. But have you ever heard of the undertone series? The undertone series is actually a theoretical concept that is the exact mirror image of the overtone series. So the overtone series works this way. Fundamental, an octave up, perfect fifth up, perfect fourth up, major third, minor third, and so on. The undertone series is the exact mirror image. So, fundamental, down an octave, down a perfect fifth, down a perfect fourth, major third, minor third, and so on. The reason that the overtone series is related to tonal music is because when we hit the octave C, then we get the perfect fifth, there's the octave, but the next notes are create a major triad. And then B flat up there, C, E, G, B flat, there's your dominant seventh chord. Okay, so there is actually harmonic information in the overtone series. When I play a chord, it produces a separate overtone series for each note in the chord. So if I play this chord here, the B flat will have its own overtone series, F, G, C, E, F will all have its own overtone series. When you play a really dissonant chord, let's say I play this, E flat minor over D minor, because there's a lot of half steps and there's minor nines in there, the overtone series are colliding with each other of each individual note and creating this really fast beating which actually gives it its dissonant quality. The overtone and undertone series are related to a concept called mirror harmony. So here's C Ionian with its pattern, major second, major second, minor second, major second, major second, major second, minor second, okay? That's C through C. If we invert it and do the mirror image of that descending, same interval combinations, major second, major second, minor second, major second, major second, major second, minor second, we get a C Phrygian scale. So Ionian and Phrygian are mirror modal equivalents. We can do the exact opposite using Phrygian ascending and Ionian descending, and the interval combinations are the same. Once again, these are mirror modal scales. Minor second, major second, major second, major second, minor second, major second, major second, okay? Same thing. So these are equivalents. Whether they're ascending or descending, Phrygian and Ionian are the exact mirror images of each other. Each mode of the major scale has its own mirror mode going in the opposite direction. The Lydian ascending and Locrian descending modes are mirror images of each other. So the Lydian mode would be this, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. So we have whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step. Descending, you'd go whole step, whole step, and then you have another whole step, then half step, whole step, whole step, half step. So that's the Locrian mode. So Lydian and Locrian are mirror images of each other. So the mirror modal pairs work like this. Lydian and Locrian are a mirror pair. Ionian and Phrygian, Mixolydian and Aeolian, and Dorian and Dorian. So Dorian ascending and Dorian descending have the exact same interval combinations. It's actually a palindrome. Just a quick review on palindromes. It's a word or a phrase that reads the same forwards and backwards, like Bob or Mom, or even a man, a plant, a cat, a ham, a yak, a yam, a hat, a canal, Panama. I've also put them going in a darker direction, going in a brighter direction. Now, because these are equivalents, okay, it's like math facts, you know, Seven times eight is 56. Eight times seven is 56. 56 divided by seven is eight. 56 divided by eight is seven. Works the same way. I've reversed them. Aeolian and Mixolydian, still going in darker direction. Phrygian and Ionian, as we know, Locrian and Lydian. So these are 
Aeolian going up and Mixolydian going down are the same interval combinations and so on and so forth through here. These are mirror modal equivalents. These scales that are palindromes are also called reflective, like reflecting in the mirror. Dorian for one. So Dorian ascending and descending. That's C Dorian. If I play a descending, it's the same interval combination. If I play them together, ascending and descending, it sounds like this. Another scale that's a palindrome or reflective is the double harmonic major scale. It's one of my favorite scales. As a matter of fact, it can be seen on this video. Just to remind you of that scale, it's half step, augmented second, half step, whole step, half step, augmented second, half step. Now chords work the same way with intervals, okay? So let's say you take a C major chord. You have a major third and then minor third. If I mirror that and do a descending interval, so I go major third down, and then a minor third down. So the mirror of C major is F minor. So if I play them together, it sounds like this. So the chord scales ascending and descending are gonna work similarly. The Phrygian chord scale is gonna have the notes of Phrygian and the Ionian chord scale is gonna have the notes of Ionian. So, so in C Ionian, you have C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. If we do C Phrygian descending, but starting from F minor, since that's the mirror image of C major, it's going to be F minor down to E flat major, D flat major, C minor, then B flat minor, A flat major, G diminished, back to F minor. If I were to play the two chord scales together simultaneously in contrary motion, it would sound like this. Now reflective scales or palindromic scales like C Dorian sound like this harmonized ascending and descending. Now mirror equivalents whose tonics are located at different pitch levels, for example, E mixolydian ascending and C aeolian descending can also produce mirror image chords like this. Examples of mirror harmony usage can be found in this Aaron Copland piano trio and also in Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra. This brings us to the concept of negative harmony. Negative harmony is the idea that every pitch or chord has an opposite with equal gravity to the tonic. So if I take a C major chord and build a triad off it, I have a major third ascending and minor third ascending. If I start in the dominant and go major third descending, minor third descending, it gives me a C minor chord, which is the negative harmony to C major. But I'm gonna start here and move descending through all the chords of G Phrygian like this. So we have C Ionian here, here's all the chords. So C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, ascending. And we have G Phrygian descending, but I begin on the C minor chord, okay? So these are all the chords of G Phrygian, but descending from C. So C minor, B flat major, A flat major, G minor, F minor, E flat major, D diminished. So one of the principles that we have to remember about negative harmony is that major becomes minor, minor becomes major, and diminished stays the same. If you look at it, major becomes minor, minor becomes major, okay? Minor, major, major, minor, major, minor, minor, major, and diminished is the same. So this is the mirror image this chord progression is the mirror image. These are all the negative harmony chords associated with C major. So B flat major is the negative chord of D minor. 
A flat major is the negative of E minor, F major, G minor, G major, F minor, your minor plagal cadence, A minor, E flat major, B diminished, D diminished. This is another way to visualize it using the circle of fifths. If I have C in the 12 o'clock position, going in a sharp direction, which is clockwise, I get these chords, okay? So if you look at the relationships of the roots, C to D, okay, is two positions going in a sharp direction, whereas B flat is two positions going in a flat direction. E and A flat, if you go E, you're going four positions in a sharp direction. A flat, you're going four positions in a flat direction. F and G, same thing. You're going either one position sharp, one position flat. G and F, same thing. And A and E flat, you go three positions in a sharp direction and three positions in a flat direction. Now, if you go back and rewatch the video from the beginning, you're going to see that you can use negative harmony in very different ways. You don't have to use the same pairs of modes. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Also, if you're interested in the Beato book, you can go to my website at www.rickbeato.com and find it there. Thanks for watching. I'm Rick Beato.